it's me. <laughs> that she wouldn't make up with makeup. Okay, makeup not fully done yet, and that's the reason why. Because today is a battle, 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 fight, 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 fight of mascaras. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Two new mascaras, right? So we have caution from Hourglass, and from Nas we have Climax. It's like. Fight, 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 fight. So, there's a number of ways I'm going to test it, right? Um, usually, with mascaras, it's two things. One is the formula of the mascara itself, and the second thing is the design of the wand that makes a difference. So, um, in this situation, my eye makeup will change as I apply one on each one. No, I'm not going to do it like one on each eye, but because like my lashes are not even on each eye anyway so um yeah so i'll apply it like this one first and then i'll change my eye makeup and apply this one and then we're going to do a test using these mascara ones um just you know these are like cheapy ones that i got from kmart uh, so we can test the formula and not so much the brush if you know what i mean <laughs> so okay let's go let's go with it let's go in but um, yeah, let's go with it. Um, I think you need to little bit be a little bit closer, don't you think? Huh. Huh. Okay, that's close. <laughs> um, yes, I'm still getting used to the new camera. Where is my little mirror? My little mirror. Hello, little mirror. Okay, um, I'll go with our glasses caution first because uh, it was the first one that came out. And you'll be able to see like the brush is really well designed I like the brush I like the formula now how you have to like close your mouth or like be, be silent what you well some people like put on the mascara like this but yeah. I don't know how many coats that is. I think I'll just count it as like maybe two, maybe. Because I kept going. Like you can see like this side definitely is like really like wing. And I'll let it dry for a while. Oh my god, like the press pack for it was crazy. Right? It came like this. Caution, right? And then you open it up, it's so cool. Open it up like this. And it goes like this. All right, it says caution in the eyes, and then it goes like this, <gasps> and then it reveals the mascara inside. Very sexy looking mascara in that uh, gorgeous, luxurious um, triangle shape that looks pretty much like the um, highlighters and the stick foundation. The wand is a specially patented designed wand which has a twist to it I really love it and I love the formula as well. So you can see quite dramatically that there's like a huge difference to what I had before. So I'll show somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. And though it kind of like looks like it's clumping, it doesn't normally do that. It's just that I really like piled it on today. Um, but I do like how it holds the curl and it doesn't smudge. I would say this is like a miracle um, mascara and I'll compare it very much to my favorite one, which is Fairy Drops. Yes, my absolutely favorite mascara ever from Japan, Fairy Drops. So hard to find now. Ugh. Oh, but it's on cult beauty. I'll just come a bit closer. You can see. And then you can do this. Which I normally do. And suddenly I have bottom lashes, which normally I don't have at all. And yes, admittedly, it does look a little bit clumpy. But generally, it doesn't. Something just dropped. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to remove this mascara now. And I will be back and then we'll see how 
Climax works. It's very sexy. You know why it's very sexy? Wait. So this is the insanely sexy press pack. Um, I don't normally get such press packs. I mean, I'm just really lucky this time and very grateful. Thank you, Mecca and Nas. Um, it has came in like this giant tube. Um, which is meant to look like the uh, mascara and that climax thing on the front is supposed to light up I couldn't work out how to make it light up again so you open up the tube and there's a gorgeous gorgeous mirror inside that says hashtag never fake it reveals the mascara the design is to die for I mean I love red you know I love red and you take it out and there's this brush right and it's quite similar to like a pipe cleaner brush very different to the hourglass one and um a very light texture which is what i'm trying to show you here okay very exciting the climax say hello i'll just come closer I think it will be really interesting to see how these mascaras work if I, if I just use like a generic mascara wand just to see like compare the formula and not so much the brush mm -hmm. well okay in terms of like application definitely lightweight uh, formula buildable mm. uh, NARS one is a lot lightweighter lightweighter uh, than the um, hourglass one but um, both are buildable as you can see I think mm, the NARS one definitely um, sort of like helps to preserve like a sort of like a more feathery look to your eyelashes whereas the hourglass one which you'll be able to see gives you a more like kind of like um, uh, how would I say a thicker fuller look almost like you're wearing like false lashes but um, that are crisscrossed but uh, you know I like both of them so definitely buildable like the formula I'm trying to bite my eyelashes <laughs> can you see? Mm -hmm. mm. 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 love it love it love it it is oh baby yes it is climax I was so worried it was gonna be like anti-climatic but um no we have climax. Super genius. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the fun bit is going to come up next. I'm going to take this off and then I'm just going to use one of these like generic ones. Um, I'm just going to use, I don't know, the same one basically. Um, we'll just use this one. Yep, this one. I'm going to use this one as my generic one. I'm going to use the exact same one um, and just like clean them off between the different. Uh, mascaras and on the box it's called len lengthening so yeah we'll see how we go in every video i'm doing on youtube there will be a giveaway i have like accumulated so much makeup in um the years since I've collected makeup and don't worry they are all all of my collectibles are like stored in airtight boxes with moisture absorbers anyway yes so there will be a giveaway in every video on YouTube okay so the exciting time we're going to test the formula just the formula of the mascara and not the wand because I, as I mentioned below uh, before that it is pretty, you know, half wand, half um, mascara, and I will apply this one on my right this eye. Okay, boom. The formula is fantastic. Boom. Fabulous, like just a cheapy brush from Kmart. 
decide who you sing <laughs> the hourglass question. <laughs> Okay. Clean now. Okay, now climax. The climax. Woohoo. Now it's this climax. No, I I kind of like the way it's designed as well. Like the tube, because it's a, like just like the hourglass one. I think it's ergonomically designed, so it doesn't like slip out of your hands. You know. Again, taking as much as I can off the wand. I think for the last one it's very much to do with it's more to do with the brush. See. Can you see? I'm closer. I've not been able to like dispense much onto this generic brush. We'll try. Okay. Mm. I'll count this as one coat. So wait for a little bit. Let this side dry. On this side we are using NARS Climax. On this side we are using our glass caution. And the test is with a generic wand. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> I think that's good enough. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Do it this way, I think. Yeah. Um, like that. Taking as much as I can off the brush. It. Okay, I don't know. It's very weird. You don't hear that sound. You know, wait. Yeah. Hear that sound? Yep. Okay, that's a smook sound. Then hear this sound on this side. Okay, admittedly, I'm a bit crazy about the schmook sound, but there is a reason for it. <laughs> it sounds different, and when it sounds different, it's something to do with the formula. I'm sure. That's my theory. Okay. Mm. As you can see, I'll come closer. Up close. Mm -hmm. You can see on this eye, which I used with the Nas one. Mm -hmm. Nas. Using that generic one, it's just gone all clumpy at the like the roots of it. So it's like, mm, as compared to this side, just the caution side. The caution side, we're using just a generic brush, gave me a sort of cleaner finish. <laughs> mm. Yes. So it's kind of like I'm just gonna put this yeah. Okay. It's kind of like with the with the using the generic wand with the climax Nas climax mascara. It's kind of given me like um, a look that's actually actually something that I really like to be honest. Um, it's make made it kind of look like I put eyeliner on. I'm not sure. I'll be able to tell once I like, you know, like see it with my eyes closed. Obviously I can't see myself with my eyes closed. So again, Nars Climax. Hourglass Caution using a generic mascara wand. I think both are equally good, taking into consideration things like formula, design, one designed, um, length of wear, um, mm, non-smudgeability, um, if that's a word, and 
um, how easy it is to remove it with water even though it has lasted like you know like for like a, you know a, a reasonable length of time like you know I probably wear my like makeup these days like when I go out maybe like uh, top three to five hours maybe they don't flake both of them do not flake mm, and I said it was really easy to remove with water didn't I so yeah so I mean this one I feel is definitely it lives up to what is said like lightweight and feathery finish but this one the formula is a little bit heavier but not in a bad way um, as you can see like it gave me a very clean finish on this eye whereas when I use the generic version uh, of wand using the formula from the NARS one it kind of like didn't work as well so this one I think is more about the brush brush plus uh, formula 50-50 this one I think it's more weighted towards the formula the formula was really good I like the brush as well um, I think it's quite unique when it goes like you know in a twist um, but yeah do I say which one fight 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 honestly I can't say I, w I prefer which one over which one I mean both have their good points um, I can't really see anything wrong, like any bad points about them, other than, okay, possibly, like for some reason today, like a lot of product came out on the brush for my hourglass one, which normally does not happen, but that happened oddly today. But um, both in very sexy packaging, I mean, oh my god, like, you know what? Like, I mean, I prefer the packaging of the NARS one. NARS always kills it with packaging. The hourglass one is sleek, but it looks like you know it's in the same format as the like um, stick foundation and flash stick, the highlighter sticks. Um, and but this one does feel heavy and in that sense more luxurious. This one's a lighter one. It feels like almost nothing really, like compared to the other. I will not weigh them for you today. <laughs> um, they will be taking it a little bit crazy, but um, trust me, this one does feel heavier. And so, um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> How do I look? Do I look decent enough? I think so. <laughs> so um, there will be a giveaway. Check the description uh, down below. Um, thank you so much uh, to Mecca for gifting these two to me in a very special um, press pack. I'm like, oh my god. Thank you very much to Hourglass. Thank you very much to Nas. I love your brands. I collect all of your stuff. Trust me. Um, yes, and uh, do, do you like? I can do this too, I don't mind. Leave a comment below on what else you'd like to say um, from me. And tell me, you know, what your thoughts about are uh, about this video, this shit it's okay <laughs> but um yeah thank you it's an honor to have you um watching this and i really appreciate it and if you're not subscribed click on that subscribe button i think we will be here i'm like this is like in the mirror image oh yeah here subscribe 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 and i'll see you very very soon thank you so much for watching i love you hugs bye